power supply technology is evolving. Does that mean the criteria for selecting a power supply is changing too? In this episode, we'll discuss power supplies and how to choose one. We'll also reveal which of the next three statements is not true. New topologies can make power supplies more efficient. Using materials such as gallium nitride and silicon carbide can also make power supplies more efficient. Even with all the innovations, the fundamentals haven't changed. The best power supply to choose is always the most efficient one. Every electronic system needs a power supply, and every time engineers have to design a new system, they have to select one. There are new topologies that improve the efficiency of power supply chips. They include phase-shifted full-bridge converters and LLC resonant converters. Replacing silicon with gallium nitride or silicon carbide can indeed improve power supply efficiency. But efficiency isn't always the decisive factor anymore whenever a power supply needs to be selected. A power supply must help meet system performance requirements and for that any number of factors might be more important than power efficiency. For example, overall cost, reliability, environmental impact, heat management, and especially power density. At the start of this video, you saw three statements about power supplies. One of them is not true, but which one? The third statement was false. The best power supply to choose is only sometimes the most efficient one. Many other factors are important, especially power density. To learn more about selecting power supplies, visit our site, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook, X, and LinkedIn accounts for the next episode of Two Facts and a Fiction from Mauser Electronics.